Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another episode in our final factory relaxed playthrough this it's what I did here I made some walls in there put a base in there I want to move that first we don't have enough concrete here for what we need we need to build a lot of these foundations and we don't have the concrete should I mention that we gotta build a space elevator and uh, we don't have the concrete? Yeah, maybe. Okay, we have enough concrete to build that space elevator, but that's about all that we have. Where did put in here the logistics mark to milestone? That will give us access. Let's send it. Let's send it up first. We're gonna stick afterwards. Milestone Go. reached. Fix it would like to remind you of your contractual obligation towards efficiency. Mm -hmm. Recreational use of belts and lifts does not count towards work hours and will put you on the list. <laughs> Stay efficient. Don't <laughs> disappoint. Fix it. <laughs> so don't use your belts for recreational purposes, okay? <laughs> well, let's get up in here. We have marked the belts. Um, somebody just fell happens okay to the best of us you just saw it after all i put a miner in there splitter 60 bell two smells 13 gets each each one of them is making all those amazing iron plates for us we got a bunch of them because the ones that we're building are being used in this assembler just to make the reinforced iron plates which guess what mark the material okay we're gonna need to redo everything that's in here. Out there in the back, I wanna have, let's say six for beginning, you know? Six uh, generators for power. And I think those will be kind of enough for until when we're gonna go and grab our coal power out of here. Now, this one in here is the first one to get modified because as I told you, we don't have enough concrete in here. So let's cut that power line. That boy will start, stop mining. It will get empty from all that ore that it had inside. As soon as that belt, it's empty. We're gonna delete it because I don't have nothing to do with the limestone in my pockets. Then we're gonna recreate everything in there. We can already dismantle that miner. Well, I put in there some crates, the small containers. The first one, I want it to be concrete. Um, I see that stones poking through there, they will stay like that because I love them. Okay. So the first one will be concrete. After that, we're gonna put the products that are made in there with the copper. So we're gonna have wire, cable, and copper sheets. On this other side, I don't know exactly where, I'm thinking something like there. We're gonna have the products that are made out of iron. So we're gonna have the plates, we're gonna have the rods, we're gonna have the screws, uh, reinforced plates, rotors. And that's about it for now. For now. Okay. Later, we're gonna have some more. I want my hub to be in there. Once we set up, not oh, this done. Once we set up the miner up there. Oh my god, fell again. It is already sorry guys. Um with the um, lamps here. We don't need anything else basically. Okay. Let me make another. Oh we get those as well. Amazing. Let me make another lookout tower. In here somewhere. Uh leather this way, please. I have trouble seeing. Okay. Good stuff. It's kinda dark. Unfortunately, I cannot make it so that it will be day not stop in satisfactory. It is what it is. We know that our miner is somewhere in there. Oh, here we are. We found it. I'm gonna put it like that just to make it aligned. I'm gonna have my constructors in here. That will be our distribution belt. And here we're gonna have the constructors. That will be our collection belt. Uh, put in there a wall, basic wall, one meter, just to make it pretty. We're gonna have the products going down that way on a lift and sneak into the last storage container in there. Uh, why am I doing it like this? Well, 
This one at this point is producing 120. Okay. Later is good when we're gonna have access to the steel. We're gonna be able to make it mark too. I think when we're gonna have it in case beams, that's gonna happen. But it's gonna be a mark too. And then it's gonna be able to produce more. We can produce more right now with it as it is if we upgrade it. But there is no point because we only have Mark to build. Okay. Let's not forget about that. So Mark 2, it's 120. When are we gonna have Mark 3, which are made with the steel beams? We're gonna have 270. At that point, that boy will produce 270. Two of those eat 90. So we'll have six in here. That means I'll have a place to put the other three in here. And another one for good luck, because why not? have everything merge and go into the same box so we're building here while thinking about the future speaking of the future at some point we're gonna have mark 18 belts here okay so i'm gonna start with a splitter in its face for now it won't split anything it will just send it down this way but at some point we're gonna put in here some more free four foundations we're gonna have another six constructors in here which guess what we're gonna merge with the same belt and go down there and that will ensure that we will use this production at its best let's call it okay this boy it's kind of aligned in here with the foundation let's call it good for now okay we said that we want to split in here so it's gonna have to be aligned with that and in here somewhere aligned with this boy let me get up here. I cannot because I don't have those jumping magics. Well, there is a ladder here. Let's get up. So I want it somewhat in the face of this so that I'll have it straight. And like that. Okay. We're gonna need the mark to belt. It's somewhat straight. And then from here, we're gonna start feeding into those constructors. Okay. 120. That's three of these. Each one of them will take 40. The first belt, it's a must. Mark two. The second one, it's a must. Mark two. This one can be a mark one. I'm gonna keep it a mark two. Because it's gonna be a lot easier to transport all of that limestone in there. And it's gonna be a lot easier for me to upgrade it later. Let's pretend that I didn't place that one. <laughs> and continue whatever we're doing here okay we get the distribution line on let's just say it okay it's on now we gotta make the collection line the final products those are the mergers one in there one in there one in there but these boys they're eating 45 concrete normally and they're pooping out 15 concrete i said concrete twice 45 limestone and making 15 concrete. Just to make it balanced, we're gonna do it like this. 10, that means 30 limestone, 10 concrete. It's very good for the beginning. We're gonna need four of them. We have only three. Time to put the 40 here. Done. Because you can make it 40, 40, 40. And there goes. Well, actually, I think that's the way we should do it. Yeah, 40, 40, 40. Why did I... What have I done here? 30. No, it's not good. 13, 43. That's 40. Okay, 13, 43, 43. 4 in here. 40 limestone equals 13.43. That means, out of this three, we're gonna have 40 concrete. And we don't need the fourth constructing here. This train preserve our power for now because uh, we don't really need all that being only 40 tons that means that it's collection belt in here can be a mark one mark one can transport up to 60 so here we go we're gonna drag it until the end in here press air r just make it straight let's not drop in here okay drop with the lift from here down now just not to fall in our heads again we're gonna drop it through here 
In the here in the back, I feel like we need another foundation. Um, yeah, let's do that first. So, one in there, one in there, multiple in there. Um, I wanna stop. Okay, work on it. Uh, let's make a mark one because we don't need more than that. I wanna cover that whole bothers me for some reason. And then I want it. Good stuff. We have made what is needed for. I wanna take that for our first I don't even know if that's the way I want the power to be well this one will have to come in here for sure no not in there I want to put a wall in here because I want to close this factory at some point put some beautiful windows in here you know make it nice and pretty so we're gonna grab that power line and get behind all of this stuff in here. Bring it first in here. And start connecting to these constructors, okay? Just like that. Now this one will connect to the miner as well. It will have power, it will start working. We know that some we will expand it that way. So we will stop with these walls that I'm putting in right about there okay let's make set walls on the other side as well i think yeah that will touch just a tiny bit i think i can live with that i think i don't know do we have walls with conveyor walls no we don't have there are walls in the game which have in here a hole for a conveyor belt this one We'll have to be one of them at that point when we're gonna lock it, but it didn't happen. Okay. So we're making 120. I don't wanna I don't wanna split evil between this because as I said, at some point we're gonna add some more. So I could bring that belt, this one, split evenly, but after that it will be difficult to upgrade. Knowing what the game will um, be. In the future, it's a huge advantage. We're gonna use the management system, and it's gonna be just as you now. So we have fixed our concrete problem. That one can go away for now. Uh, looking forward of grabbing all that tasty quartz from somewhere up there. I don't know where it is. Start putting windows in here. Nevertheless, those windows require glass. Oh uh, no, request steel. So that steel. We haven't got in there yet. Okay, we're not in there yet. This is the place where our hub is going to be located. Now, we can delete all this because it's no longer needed. This is the old production line, let's call it, for the concrete. Don't need that anymore, okay? All of this can go away. All of it. And now we can fill this space, make it nice and pretty, call it ours. It's home. Okay, so it is our home here. Uh, this one, I feel like it can go away. It's kind of connecting to everything, but it's in the middle of the floor. <laughs> so let's bring that one. This is the straight line here. Okay, let's bring it down. Uh, let's make this, this, what you call it? This foundation, this floor. Let's bring that one, drop it in here, and move with it that way. Because this is how it's going to be arranged later down the line. Okay. And just pop it down. That means that that one can go away. Uh, we have the power for the cup action there. Well, we're gonna delete that. We're gonna grab that. And connect it in there. Now the couple have power to work. Uh, so that one connects to this, to this, and that one connects somewhere in there. We don't know exactly where. But Bernie is pretty big that night. Oh my god, it's so far away. Okay, so if I connect that on this, I can safely delete this. 
powerful death pump in this one and our concrete will still have power i see that i made a mistake in there that one it's red not good not good big what have you done in there just get in there and see what i have done maybe i didn't put the recipe i think that's the case yep didn't put so control see control um it's not good it's not good gotta cut it from here with fret and fret free paste it in here put the limestone back now it should be balanced 40 each making 13 point fret each we should go i think we can kind of delete this one until we discover the other mistake that we may basically in there it's fine don't worry about it so i want let's put in the hub first in here and the map after that we gotta put down the equipment part uh the workshop basically and we will decide exactly where we're gonna put those boxes because i don't know if i want them in here or in there okay so we have a little space here in the back i want this one filled with the workshop this guy you know so it's gonna be just like that i want my man it's pretty in the corner like this but i don't know it's pretty like that now give me some space in here you know that means that my hub can safely stay in here if i can find it but just amazing uh what exactly are you encouraging h block that can move it a little here no okay let's see how it looks in the back it doesn't touch the work, so it's good let's place it looking good looking very good that means i can have my boxes in here because i will never use these guys and i don't want to access them oh look we started really good with those in here so if i put my boxes in here my containers i kind of want them alive with that one. so should be something like this in there i think let's get up here and see so it's gotta be on this one like that right i think so that means in there perfect now there they will be all right easy as we can see that it's just to drag about yeah it's perfectly aligned this time so we're gonna have plates we're gonna have rods we're gonna have screws no choice we need those screws for building stuff we're gonna have our cells in here reinforced plates this one will have the cheesy so let's align it with H on it. Perfect. I uh, need to move those parts. It's not the choice. But it's good the way it is right now. Uh, so what did I say? Plates, rod, screw, uh, reinforced. We're gonna need in here the rollers. And I think we should stop in here for now. Okay. As we come out of our little happy place in here we're gonna have everything that we need on the sides we get that in there we get that one in there i think this is enough place for me to go to say that i'm happy you know i think so let's put this balls in here because i want to see what's in this box visual we don't have yet the signs because we haven't discovered yet where even if we would unable to build them so when we're gonna have them we're gonna put plates in there i'm not sure why well, actually yeah we're gonna change these guys at some point at some point with the big boxes 
You know why? Because I want those dimensional D parts on top of them. I want them. It is what it is. Let's address the little hole that is sitting like that. I'm gonna drag another line in the back. Uh, I don't want it in here because it's gonna be that bit, but I can put it between them. They will make it look better. That one will get punished. Uh, let's invent another part. This line in here. And this would be our ball from here. Okay, connect this one to that one. This one can go away. That one can go away. And that one can go away as well. Perfect. Now, what we need to do, it's uh, take out everything that is in here and build it in this place. In here. Since we have the boxes in here, I want to leave myself like these two lines in here enough for the belts. Because you're going to have one belt in here, one belt in there, one in there, one in there, one in there. At some point, you're going to end up with them like this. We can put them on two levels, even more, as it stands right now. But we'll take it step by step, okay? I don't need an observation tower in here just to show you stuff. Let's get up top and I will show you that stuff. So, ignore everything that it's in there for now. This is our main miner, okay? It's making 60 because it's limited like that. We have another iron node in there. At this point, I cannot put a miner in there because it's sticking in everything, okay? I want to keep that space clear. Well, in order to have the space clear, I could leave those in there and put the merger in the front of them. But I don't really want that. Because that one will have a bunch of smelters in front of him. This one will have a bunch of smelters. That one will have a bunch of smelters. Same stuff with that guy in there. Okay? I think it was another one. No, only that. Good. So, those smelters are not well placed in there. We should start from there, just like that. Being 120 and having the mark, all right, we can put four of them in here. So guess what, we just made it happen. Now, at some point in there, it's gonna be, I don't know, 1,600. We can do that, 1,200 actually. That's a bunch of smelters, Mister. Are we gonna go with them until there? I don't think so, we're gonna go on floors, maybe, or just sink it down below and do all the smelting below. I still haven't decided what to do. I think I want to kind of leave this space here and put the smelters below, but at the same time, I love seeing these smelters in here. So, we're just gonna leave them in here for now. I feel like that's the way to go from that splitter to each one of them. For some reason, it doesn't want to give me that line in there. But I think that that's the right placement for it. So it's gonna have to be in there. Gotta get down. You gotta get down. Cannot build. Again, broke my legs. It's fine. This is a line. This one has to be in here, right? I feel. Yep, we got the two lines. This one will have to become a mark two. Mark two in here. Mark two in here. Mark two in here. I think we can safely get up top now. Make the mark once, you know. So we can delete them out of there. Perfect. Let them chew. Let them finish what they have working. Okay. Uh, we can delete that. We don't need it anymore. Let's put our power. So let's start from this side in here. This connects to that. Uh, actually, we can save on our points. We'll put it in. Okay, so one connection is the minor, two, three, and then go with it this way. This one has one connection, that one, and two in here. 
Three connections. Here we go. We can connect to that because it's in there. Is that my main? It is. So it will have to be moved at some point when we're gonna get to the smelters in there. But we're gonna take care of that one at that time, not now. Looks like these boys have finished the iron. We can get rid of them. There's gonna be a lot of here. Those, I believe, they still have ingots. Let's put these guys on iron in the thing here. Each and every single one of them, you know? Good stuff. Now, since we're gonna go with them that way until, I don't know, let's see, here or something like that, I want my production to happen in here. Especially that I want those two places free. So we will make the exit in here. So, alright. Heading to my lifting here. Let's get up. I really need those blades just to be able to move, to jump a little higher, to move fast. We should take a look. So, all of this can be marked one because each one of them is making pretty. But this one here should be marked too. I'm gonna keep it marked too, all the way. We don't have much mark two material left. Since that one is our collection box, this will be our exit. Okay. Now I would like to leave myself this space to circulate in here, but I'm gonna do exactly that. We're gonna start placing constructors from substructure. And now comes the question how much should you build? You know, I want to paint a line in front as well. So. How? Yeah? That is perfect. Um, well, a listing? A little. So, iron blades, for example. Uh, it's not the best case because it's the last one, but let's call it that. Um, what is 20 per minute? I think that 20 per minute is not enough. So we're gonna make two of them, making 40 iron braids per minute. This is only for our own consumption. Okay, it's not how much we will have to build for some other production, like the plates, the reinforcements. I don't know, whatever else. No, it's only for our own consumption. Let me drop those because I just sold them. They came into existence when we dismantle the hub. Oh, I thought it was amazing. So I want those to come here. The issues, if we bring them from here, merge and merge, however, all the other belts will cross with those. So either we come with them at the end or we do the right thing and um, we place them differently. Basically. So we're sitting here. This is gonna be for plates, this is gonna be for rods, this is gonna be for screws. These guys here, the composite materials, they made in an assembler. We're gonna have to deal with those bits later. I think they will be on another level. Okay, bring them from somewhere in there, somewhere in the back. I don't know. I think it's gonna be a second row because we need the assemblers in here making them. And some of those are really tricky because I don't want to use the normal recipe that we are making with iron. I want to use the recipes stitched plate for the reinforced plate that is going to take the wire from somewhere in there. So it's going to have to come underneath. And for the rollers, I want to use the other recipe, which I don't remember how it's called, but it's taking copper sheets, always done in there and screws which we can do so let's forget about this two for now and let's focus on this one this one i want screws here. how many screws do we need if we make this normal it's 50 per minute they may look like a lot but they're not a lot so we're gonna need two of them it is what it is we're gonna build two uh two times cast screws here so we're gonna put the merger here and they have to go into that box okay 
let's have an exit forward. Each one of them is making fifth. So this one is safe to be marked one. The output of this is gonna have to be marked. Why not? Oh I don't have reinforcer. Already run out of this. Okay, no problem. Let's get in here. Grab some more. Because we build it, we have 220. It's good. How exactly are we sitting with the power because we're building and building but oh, getting in there. Something is not balanced. I think it is guys because they're getting for now. Okay, so mark two. Let's come with it from there in here. Because that will give me this curve on the belt. In that space frame there to play with those belts, okay? If I come with it from here in there, you see? So I want it from there in here. These are our screws. Unable to get up there. It is what it is. Uh, let's grab a self splitter here and already start pumping ingots into them. Okay. Where? In there? In the shell. Each one of them is taking 4.5 ingots per minute, so it's nothing very good. We already established that this one's gonna be marked here. Okay, it's done. Next picture. Same thing. Always mark doing here. Uh, I want to put some power into these boys. So we're going to grab the power from there and bring it in front. Yeah. So we just start making the screws. Perfect. They will be only for our consumption. Made. Now, next up. Next up, I believe will be power but let's keep on building okay next up will be rats okay so rats let's put another constructor here and see about those rats we're making 50 per minute that's not enough we're gonna need two of these points we're gonna see rats again uh leather it's in here and we're gonna duplicate what have there but this time you see it's in there so let's put our merger in here because it happens to be exactly in the middle between these guys being 15 and 15 is really easy it's only 30 so mark one should be more than enough these boys will make all right let's put the power in drag it in here connect this with the best power okay we're gonna need the plates so that's another two constructors for you already run out of spacing what do you know uh, let's get behind if we can yes we can and take care of the distribution line after that we're gonna see if we have enough iron or not to support all this production because guess what i didn't thought about it too much i'm just building whatever i want so all of that can be a mark one. This one can be a mark two in here. It should be, not that it can be. Uh, I want to make this platform one tad bigger in there. Okay, I can walk. Perfect. Um, oh, I think we need those. I think we need these guys. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we'll grab that wall for now and put it here just because I'll fall through there. I'm telling you, I will. Time to get up on one of these constructors. Got it. Um, so, we will need to fit them in there. Let's align with these guys. That guy, I mean, I think that's the way to align it. In there, it's gonna have to be. So, we're making 40 plates, right? 20 and 20. No, from there. You see, this way, it looks really crisp. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, let's see what have we done here. How many ingots do we have? 30 and 30, that's 60. How many ingots in here? 15 and 15, that's 90 ingots. And in here, another 25. So, 90 plus 25, that's 115. We're producing 120 at this point. So, 
it. Just to have in everything there. This one should be dropped 20. The first. Because it's the first one to get filled up in here. This one. It shouldn't be 120. It should be 150. Because that's the result, I believe. Yeah, that's the result. So all this production in here will be balanced. Now let's see why we don't have power. Oh, because we build that much. And we're consuming that much. Well, let's see. Do we still need this production? Oh, thanks. Let's delete that. Those boys, they still have their ingots and everything inside of them. So we kinda need them to work. Um You know what? Let's invent in here another three of these because we're gonna need them at some point. I wanted to put them on foundations, but I don't know. I don't know. Let's just put them in here like that. I don't know if I should put them on foundations. I would like to put them on foundations, but I don't have enough plates. I mean, for sure, I got some in there. Let's see how many materials. But this we have in here a bunch, so it's good. Um, these boys do they still have something? So this one doesn't have enough, this one for sure not. We can delete them out of here, they will not consume our power for nothing. We can delete this one as well, that one as well. Let's deposit the rest of the plate in here because we know this is a place just like that oh keep 600 on us we have some iron ingots on us let's put them i don't know in the first one for example in here and let's see about the power so that one it's out that one will no longer be needed in there for now okay so we're gonna take it out of the equation i still want this machine so the miner is cut off. How much do we need exactly? We were getting at 104. Now capacity is 90. So if I put one more of these guys, it should be fine. Okay, let's... Why? Oh, okay, good stuff. Let's bring these foundations in here. Because I want them on a foundation. I don't want them just like this out in here. I'm gonna delete every single one of them. And we do everything, you know, because there's the way it's gotta be done. No other choice. Okay. Continue with them. Let's end. Okay. That's our exit point for the good stuff. Okay. I'm gonna put three in here. Three in here. We said six of them. Okay. Do we need this part? Let's delete this one, this one, and that one. Where does that one go? In there? Okay. Let's keep it because the complex put it in there. Perfect. Now, uh, how much do we have? Uh, not enough inventory space, PHG, for your lousy inventory. Okay, good stuff. How should we do this? I want to more in that side. That's the issue. And this place will be all covered in foundations at some point. So let's just make this, even if this box is inside here, at some point it's gonna end up up here. Let's make that one happen right now. Okay, we're gonna drop all of those. Uh, sorry, grab all of those, drop them in here, take all of those, dismantle that, dismantle that, put them all in here. Good stuff. So, I'm gonna have to move on that. Okay. Give me that, like that. Give me that box. I want it like in it, actually. So, excuse me, but I'll have to move all of this again in another box. Just to put my box on this place, so this one is not placed well placed either. Okay, give me a minute in here. Uh, 
Okay, got it. So, burner, burner, burner. Okay, we want them to be fitting here. From here, that's it. Uh, H? Something like that. Okay, something like that. We said six of them. I'm gonna have one in there. One in there. One in there. Uh, hello? I'm gonna get them. Gotta get them. No other chance. Uh, I think I can move already everything that is inside this guy. In here. Is it filled up? It is. Amazing. Good stuff. Let's get up in here. Put all split in the middle. One. Two. In the front. We have place to extend our production here. Let's not put it in okay? Two. Three. We're gonna make this one more because we want all the stuff to move fast in here. Those can be marked once. We've got no issue. Guess what? These boys will start filling up already. Let's drop whatever we have on us because we don't need them on us. Grab some more out of here. Just to fill them up. Before starting them, should we place the other? Yeah, let's place them because pff, at some point we're gonna have to place them anyway. So, H, come in here. No, okay, perfect. Get in there. Sorry. Uh, yep, that's perfect. Let's put that one in there. That one I marked. Uh, I filled up. You are perfect. You grab those. Not enough for you, but you're gonna get filled up. I'm not worried about it. 60 per minute. Yeah, good. Let's take care of the power stuff. So, we're gonna have in here this two. Foreign. This one. Go forward. This one. Go forward. Hmm. Yeah, the same thing. And this one. Okay, and now this boy is gonna be our main. How should we call this? Power output for all the stuff that we got in here everything should work just fine we kind of jumped in there because now we have double the power that we had before we're sitting at 240 megawatts capacity our maximum consumption is almost half of that one one two. that is because we have in here some machinery which is well not not longer necessary for now, but it's gonna be necessary at some point. Let's address this little issue here that we have with this voice. I'm not gonna rebuild it right now, I'm just gonna make it as does on the grass. Uh, mark one for you in here, it's the closing. So that one I can sneak it in, but that one I cannot sneak it in there, no matter what I do. What if I bring it, come on, like that. It won't work, BAG, stop trying. Okay, good stuff. Merger, please. Just put it somewhere in there, aligned, perfect. Oh mark, put me set of that. Let's make a mark one going in here, with that boy. Hey. Mark one going for that boy. True that tree. Amazing. Good stuff. Good stuff. Gotta love it. Everything will be rearranged. Good stuff. So those boys are chewing 
on the items. This one is empty, so we still have something inside of them. Some wood and some leaves. So, guess what? This one will be stopped. Perfect. We will be able to dismantle them and rearrange them with the sun. That means we can delete these guys. We can delete these guys. Ugly. Are you finished? But you still have to well just just make it happen fast. And you too. Oh uh, you already finished. Perfect. You can go away. See, there is no belt going through that tree. <laughs> Told you it's gonna be fine. Okay. Um uh, that guy finished what he was doing in there. So we don't care about him anymore. Uh, the constructor. Is it work? This one was making plates. Uh, no, it's not working anymore. Good stuff, we can delete that. Those plates will be used in that summer. So we're gonna let it finish the job. This boy is making screws in here. Oh my god, still got a bunch of fingers in here. Uh, what about you? Oh, amazing. Oh, I kinda wanna dismantle them. I know that this boy is in here. Um, do you still have ingots? Oh my god, a bunch. So, let's grab all those ingots out of there and put them in the new assemblers, the one that we just built. Because guess what, these guys are kind of missing the ingots right now. They're trying to get filled up. Slow, moving. Okay. So, that one is filled up, guess what? That one is. Perfect. This guy is not perfect. Okay, so put it in here. The last one is not circulating. I must have done something wrong in there. Don't know what. We'll find out right about now. What's wrong with you? No reason. Oh, it should be the one with the plates. Here you go. Have some ingots on you. Thank you very much for your contribution. Perfect. Can I make it up there? No. Puny? Okay, puny. We have redone our construction Majiki facility here. Everything that was on the grass, now it's properly arranged. What we need to do is make another one, something like this, that will fit in there. Those which are the reinforced plates, and another one which doesn't exist for those rollers, okay? Uh, yep, that's one gonna start moving at some point. It's gonna be fine. <sighs> I can delete that. I can delete that. I can delete that. I can delete those. Yeah, all of them. I can delete that. That one is fitting into that box. Apparently, there is a connection in there. That one had rats on it. In it. So let's delete this ugly belts going through the air. You kinda need something Mr. there in there? Here, grab those, call yourself happy. This is gonna be the last thing you're gonna do with screws, by the way. Now I would like to make the same thing for the copper, because at this point it comes in here. We're gonna have to redo all that. Uh have we finished with the iron? Well yes and no. Yes and no. We have finished with this miner, but we haven't finished with that. Uh, nevertheless, that one. I don't want it. That one. I want this one. Okay, so let's make it happen in here. Like that. Let's put that miner. Sorry. Miner. Okay, gotta aim at the node. Now it uh, that one is somewhat straight, perfect. It works. Uh, same thing as in here, okay? So we're gonna need force melt. I don't know which way to put up. That one is kinda close, so we're gonna keep them on this side, just like we did with the others. Let's put the splitter in his face. Aligned, amazing. We're gonna start. 
I'm kind of close for my taste. Yeah, let's start from this. Okay, we're gonna need four smelters here. Do I have place for the merges? I feel like I do. Okay. We can continue. We have our four smelters in place. Let's put our splitters in here. Is it the light? Can we tell? I think it is. Always mark two in here. Always mark one in here. 60, it's more than enough for these guys. Each one will be 30. Copy the recipe from this one. All of them. So, control B. Control B. Control B. Good stuff. I need those miners in my life. We're gonna merge this exit. Leaving that one in there because we don't wanna. So, that one just. It's next to it, but it doesn't bother. It's gonna be just fine when we wanna add the next, I don't know, four, five smelters. Because our next build is gonna be to seven. So we could make five. Mark ones in the output of the smelters. Mark two between these guys in here. I'm not sure I want to start this one yet. And I realized, uh, well, actually, let's get this, get this, get this. This exit will go somewhere in there. I don't know where. I am very tempted to connect it to that one. But we don't have the Mark III belt yet. Nevertheless, I think we can work with that distribution line. So let's put it in there like that. Because I would like to have. In the future, when we're gonna have Mark III belts, I would like this belt to be fitting in the constructors that we're gonna have on this other side. So if this one become Mark III, becomes Mark III, I'll be able to have outputs from there into the other batch of constructors in whatever we're gonna need in there. At this point, we don't need that much. We only need Actually, let's see what we're gonna need first, okay? We're gonna need one assembly. Making it reinforced. This guy? So, how many? Oh, five per minute, I think it's enough. Honestly. So that's, what? 16 plates, 17 plates. What's the maximum? 1875. So, if we're making five, Wait a second, what are we building here? We're making reinforced plates for our consumption. That's what we're doing. Perfect. So we're gonna need a 110. Sorry. We're gonna need 36 plates. That's two constructors making plates. And we're gonna need 70 something wire, which is two constructor making wire from that side. We don't care about that side. We only care about this side. Okay. Uh, for the rollers, same same stuff. Ten, perfect. This is the perfect stuff. Ten per minute. We're gonna need uh, four constructors making screws and copper sheets. We're gonna need twenty. So that's two constructors from the other side. It's set. So with three assemblies, we kind of we kind of fix those two boxes. Now we're gonna figure out how exactly am I gonna put this guy in here because I don't have Mark Freeze. That gives me only one option. Space them a little. You can go away now. Thank you for your contribution. Put them in the middle. And make another distribution line. No other choice. It is what it is. So we said we're gonna need some constructors in here. I don't remember how many because you're talking about the engine here. So we're just gonna put them out. Something like that, you know? 
and we're gonna figure it out afterwards. But let's start placing these guys down. Two, three, four, five. Perfect. Each one of these guys is gonna be a Mark One, that's for sure. Each one of these guys is gonna be a Mark Two, that's for sure. Mark One in there. Mark Two in here. Mark One in there. Mark Two. In here. And now let's not forget we gotta bring them up top in there. Okay? We have those stackable conveyor belts. We're gonna use them. Okay? We're gonna bring our products up top in there and then we're gonna make it happen in here just like that you know? but i want a more beautiful way so i'm gonna come with it huh? and connect it only up Ooh. Ooh, nasty connect it only up like i can delete that power call actually i want to delete this too bad come from here and perfect now connect that bell in here uh i need the conveyor belt. Like that. You are gonna go up top in there, please. And you are gonna connect with that way. And we're gonna have our iron ingots circling from the top, coming down here, going in. Perfect. Let's. <sighs> Should we do the power? I feel like we're building, but we don't know what. So we will not power it. Let's enlarge this platform a tiny bit in here. We said we needed three uh, symbols. Okay. So we're gonna do just that. Uh, go in there first. Go in there first. Sorry. Okay, so in here we're gonna have to deliver two items. I feel like I wanna transport them on this line in here. So let's do that. No, not that. Let's do this. One of them is gonna have to go in there. So we need two spaces. One, two, let's bring it in here. And one up top, of course, because why not? Uh, mark once should be more than enough. One comes in here, one comes in there. We need it straight this time. Amazing. Looking really bad. Good. But it's not good. <laughs> uh, it's on this line. So I need it in there. One, two. I feel like that's the case. Is it? Yes, it is. Give it that face. Give me that mark one. Put it in here, please. And only after the lift up. No. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Okay. Give me those. Gonna come in here. Always on. Okay. That's where they connect. I don't know. This is the bottom line. That is the top line in there. Now we can drop on that. We have one in here. I'm gonna bring another conveyor belt, Paul, just to make it beautiful. And put it in here. Okay. How many of those assemblies are we gonna need? I can only put down one. Pay attention. Okay. Uh, because I don't have rollers. So, we're gonna need one for this. Because we said 10 per minute. Yes. And we're gonna need two of this for the stitched plates. So where are plates? Through making five each. So 32, 33, let's call it that two constructors. And for this boy, four constructors. So we're gonna need six. One, two, three, four, five. We need another one. 
<laughs> we'll see if we have enough ingots in a second. Okay. If our production can actually supply the necessary items for all of these guys. This one, I don't think it's sitting for you yet. I think I want to put them the other way around. Yeah, I think that will be great. I don't know how to put them because it's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky delivering the wire. And it's gonna be tricky delivering this product here. Because each one of them is taking different different stuff, you know. And the first one from here is gonna take the plates and the second one is gonna take the screws. So we're gonna have two exit lines here for them. That means one can come straight, but the other one gotta come on the side. The first one that comes straight gotta feed well, one of them. Gotta feed into one of these, making the rollers. And the second one, gotta feed into two of them, making the speech plate. How should we do this? I think that first we should place our assemblies. So let's just take care of that real fast. I think that one doesn't have anything on it anymore. Uh, yeah, I can delete you as well. I had space for all of it. I will need four more rollers. So we're gonna do the unthinkable and do them in our inventory. Apparently, somebody's gonna need more screws. Let's grab some because we're building. Done. Drop the screws back. Now, those symbols are gonna have to come on this line here somehow. One of them connect to the bottom, one of them connect up the top, you know? Can I clamp this? The answer is yes. Um, how big is one of those? Uh, will it be too crowded if I put it in there? I feel so. So let's start building from there. One, two, and three in there, you know. We're gonna have this delivering up top the rope. Hello? Because it's straight, it's a line, it's beautiful, we love it. So this is gonna be the rope. Because in this other side, we already stated that this guy are gonna be doing for split, and this guy is the rollers. This is the second line which is coming up top in here, and it's gonna be collect connected exactly to this way, which is gonna make rollers. This other two boys in here are gonna make our reinforced plates, 10 of them per minute. Amazing. So, each because it's the best recipe ever, we need five per minute, please. Copy that. Paste that. Okay, this boy here. Gotta make it 10. Not 11, 24. Only 10 minutes. Thank you very much. Now, this guy is gonna need 173 screws. Can we deliver 143 screws per minute? The answer is no. We can only deliver 120. But we're gonna set it for 123. And we're gonna live with it like that until we're gonna have our mark free belt. It is what it is. No other choice. I could drop it to like something like eight. So you go lower. Seven. You go lower. Six point five. Six point something something. Okay? Just to have one twenty here. But I don't wanna do that. Because I wanna set up my production right now how is gonna be for the future not right now right now this is just a stage of the game it's a lot it's very difficult in the beginning okay we're gonna leave it at that so we're gonna take care of those copper sheets when we're gonna do copper for now we're interested in those let's say 101 screws it's gonna be 175 just to have extra in here just to make five 
five. We're gonna need that amount of play to multiply with two. So 16.67 multiply with two. That's 33. We're gonna make 34 plates. And that's it. Because that's the way it's gonna be done. So that's exactly 17 plates per minute. Being given that this is the first one in here, we're gonna invent the splitter here, coming from this side. The mark one button, okay? No need for anything else. And it's gonna be delivered from here. I wanna make this guy's balanced in here. So we need two for the plates. Right? 17 and 17 each. Exactly. And this boy, four of them. So we need six constructors. Do we have six constructors in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Amazing. So first is gonna be the plates. Okay, let's put it in the middle. This and then let's take care of those plates. Um, if I could make the merger, it's gonna be just this thing. Uh, did you move? Of course you did. Okay. So, one more journey here. Mark 1 is more than enough. Let's not forget about that. It's gotta fit into that. Um, should I take it through there and try? Yeah, let's leave it like that. It's perfect. So, you're gonna make me 17 of this amazing shit. Um, shit. Sell aggressive, eh? 17, please. Copy. Paste onto this one. Okay, we have our first recipe set in. Now, the other guy, he need the 173, so we're gonna make 175. Uh, say his name exactly right screws exiting this okay that's now so let's connect the mergers again we don't have the mark free belt okay it's not gonna work properly until we're not gonna have that but it is what it is so we're gonna put in here screws yes screws of course copy paste paste uh, making 50. These belts can be marked one here. And let's not forget we're making 175. So this one better make only 25. And this one because it's the first one in the line it is gonna be the first one to get filled up. Now this one here, mark the, mark the, mark three, but we don't have it. This one. Okay. This will have to come out through here and go, let's say, through here and feed into the next two assemblers in here. So we're gonna stop it in here for now. I'm gonna invent the splitter. It's gotta fit only into this one, not into I made a mistake, sorry. Good stuff. We have it figured it out with the screws. Uh, let's figure out the exit in here. For these boys, I feel like I want to get up top in here just to have a better view. Uh, okay, I think this will be fine in here. It's gonna be only 10 of them. So we can save them in there with the mark one. Kinda dark. Sorry about that. Nothing I can do about it. Uh, let's see how many ingots we're using here because I have no idea. So it's 25.5 twice, right? Yep. Yeah. So 25.5 multiplied by 2 plus. We got in here 50 screws. 50 screws. Something wrong with 25 screws. Uh, I think we have four of them. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So, twelve point five multiplied three plus 
the first one, which is this guy, and I found 625. We're gonna need 95 units. 95, not one. 95, okay. So, Fred, 6, 9, 5. The first one to get filled up is the one that's gonna make 95. 95 ingot. This boy will have to produce only 95 more. It's gonna be balanced. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be pretty. Okay. Uh, I feel like all this lines here for nothing. Uh, not quite. That one feels on everything. This one. Looking like shit. Okay. Good stuff. Let's put it in here because we know we're gonna need it for this miner as well. Uh, and it comes from there. So let's complete the puzzle here. This one can go okay, for now. That is our main that needs power. That's our main that provides power. Okay. So that guy in there. Gotta be connected to this guy. And to that guy. Okay. This one can go away. We can continue with our floors here. My ore is down there. Gonna come with um, somewhere like in here, Shh. just to be able to connect with the next batch. Put that one in because we need that copper beam to do this. Now we can delete all these guys in here. This guy, these three guys. That boy is still chewing on his wood. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? No, he's just stuck in that stupid animation. Perfect. Amazing, you can go away. Thank you very much for your contribution. Good stuff. We will redo all that at some other time. Right now, we're not interested in it. We're doing that. We get the power. We still have there a bunch, a bunch of that amazing, which we call it exactly. So it's good. Biomass is called BJ. Oh, okay, yo, a bunch of that biomass. And it's just not standing. Down. Let's drop in here and get that because we don't need them on us right now. We can get rid of some of this because we have way, way too much in our inventory. We'll take care of that at some other point. The dropping those because I don't know exactly. Well, actually, no. This is gonna be wire. This is going to be cable, and this is going to be copper sheets, which I think we had the drop for some. Yep, we did. Come, come with me, please. Follow. Amazing. Now, all that we need is to put power on that way, okay? We have our main passenger here, going in the back. Okay, we're gonna connect this way to the miner. We're gonna take that part. Stuck it. Come on, let me please. Okay, put it in here, connect to that, to that. Grab another one, put it in here. Connect to that. We're gonna start making the ingots. Now, time to get in here and put the power in this place. So, we're gonna grab that one. Bring it right here in the back between these guys. Give power to these boys. When they're gonna have the ingots, they're gonna start making the screws. Connect the other two. Always screws. Connect the other two. Plates. Seven in each. Perfect. We gotta come in here. Grab power from that guy, which is the doll. Bring it right here in the middle. Let me up this. I'm suffering without my base. I want my base. I think we should focus on making those lead as soon as possible, basically. So, those ingots will be sent. Oh my god, I cannot make it. Will be sent on the second line once they are being made. And they are being made. Screws 25, screws 50, screws 50, screws 50. I know. 
they're gonna struggle to move. It is what it is. 17 and 17 grades. They're gonna go. Those boys are gonna fill up and then they're gonna stop because we didn't break the wire and we didn't break the copper sheet. And we didn't break those yet because we didn't have time in this episode to make them. Because that implies we're doing all of them, which is gonna happen. But not in this episode because this one is long enough. I'm gonna prepare a little for that. See, missing card. Can I go too fast in here? Because we don't have the necessary materials to go too fast. Lucky for us, right now we're building. We're making things happen. We're making wire. We're making the concrete. We're making everything. We're making the kids. Basically, we're making more than we did before. We're making the same amount of place that we did in there, which is gonna be just fine for us, 40. We're making 30 of those. We're making only 15. And that's it. We are making 100 screws per minute, only for our own needs. Before, we we're making only enough to build some reinforced plates. We're gonna make soon enough the reinforced plates and the rollers. We upgraded our concrete factory which is just outstanding, I'm loving it. We have 30 concrete per minute. If we need more, there is another pure node behind that boulder. Um, in here somewhere, we could easily grab him, bring a belt underneath and plug it into this one. But it ain't gonna be needed for our needs. That one's gonna be needed for our steel production when we're gonna start making the encased beams. Now, this mess in here will have to disappear and into the next episode we will start making our little copper how should we call it factory i wouldn't call it a factory i will call it an assembly line you know and we're gonna do just that exactly what we did here we're gonna do with the copper let's make sure i don't fall so we're gonna have in here a few smelters and those smelters will send uh will be facing that way so that way because that one is gonna be set straight which will bring it somewhere like in here so i'm gonna set the smelters like this the copper ingots will go that way and then turn around and deliver in here the goods. The goods being everything that we need on the other side. Uh, what am I missing now, Mr. Plates? Okay. Here we are. Uh, being wire, being cable, being cartridge. Most likely we'll have to tap into the other one. But no, because in there we have a 60 belt. And this one produces just as much as is necessary for our own needs for cable and for wire i actually is making a little more wire than needed but let's leave it at that so the next 60 that we're gonna grab out of there are gonna make the copper sheets i don't know if that's gonna be enough for all our production in here that we need because we need to put something for our own needs and we also need some in here i forgot how my name I think it's 20 copper sheets. Yeah, it ain't even that much. And in here we're gonna need 67 wire. So nothing for constructors. Okay. Nevertheless, that one is gonna happen only in the next episode, guys. This one is pretty long as it is. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think about this? What do you think? What are your thoughts about this bridge room? What do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you want a similar? Yes? No? I don't know. Let me know. I love being not stressed like this. Relaxed. We got the power. We already fixed our production here. We're making everything that we need in the beginning. The normal stuff. 
this placing starting to look like something organized. That's the main idea basically. And I'm kind of digging this. I'm loving it. We're gonna have more in there, more in there, more in there, more in there. More in there. Looking forward to getting to steel. Looking forward to building the space elevator. I think I was able to build it at some point. Right now I'm missing the wire. Well, we have it in that box. Trust me, I have enough to put it down. I didn't put it down because I don't know where I want to put it down. I did the, put it exactly in there, but I'm not sure that's a good idea because we're going to have in there a bunch of smelters for that one, for that one, for the other one, and for this Mr. Iron in there. So I'm not sure where exactly I should put it. And here this place is going to be occupied. With these constructors, maybe we should put it in there. But that will leave me no place to sneak those lines in. So, I don't know where to put it. Further away that way. Maybe on that shelf in there, or on that shelf in there. I have no idea. I have no idea. That's why I didn't place it until now. Well, this will be for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for being here, for watching this. If you like it. Don't forget to drop a like on that video. Subscribe on the channel if you haven't been to see more. And if by any chance you want to support my dream of becoming a full time content creator, you can do that by grabbing a slot and amazing membership. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of you all.